It's about 4 p.m. and David Oyet, an employee with Clark International University, is done with his day's assignments. In order to get home fast and safe, he goes to his phone and by using the safe border application, he calls for a border border which makes it to the campus gate in just a minute. Yes, you just stop and stop at the main gate. For more than a year now, this has been Oyeti's means to and from his workplace and he explains its convenience. I wanted to find an alternative way of reaching out to border borders, a safe way and uh, somebody will have an extra helmet. And so when I downloaded the app, my first experience was good. He says that his security is guaranteed with a rider he has details about. You can either take a screenshot and share with a relative that, oh, I'm off to town with border border helmet numbers, number this and the phone, the, the phone number and name are all on the screenshots. So you can share with your friends and neighbors should you feel insecure. Oyet is not the only one who has these same sentiments. Um, it's very comfortable, very cheap. Uh, and the riders are extremely professional. Very comfortable speed and they are very kind. Safe Border Group believe they are playing a role in organizing the border border industry. We're pro trying to provide a safe, convenient and affordable service. That's why we've added a, an application and you can request for your safe border through an app. Damaliwa Sukira, the public relations officer of Safe Border, says that the branding of their riders helps them in monitoring the cyclists. We have numbers on all our helmets, so we can identify who our riders are. We also have a dress code within the driver's code of conduct. In 2013, Kampala Capital City Authority attempted to do a similar thing through registering border borders in Kampala, but the process died prematurely. Since then, crimes committed on and by border border cyclists have increased, with the most vivid examples being prominent people being shot dead by people using motorcycles. The most recent case was that of Arua municipality MP Ibrahima Biriga, who was gunned down on the 8th of June at Chirinyabigo in Wachiso district. After Biriga's murder, President Museveni issued new directives on border borders, which were welcomed with different reactions. So we are going to ban the covering of your head when you are, when you are driving or you are, you, you are on, 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 on a bike. We are going to require all of them to get new helmets with the numbers on the back here. And these numbers must be shining at night. This exercise is extremely important that they must be registered that they must have security features, that there must be a system of uh, tracking them all the time. Since 2015, through 16 and 2017, now 2018, we've been telling these people that it is a matter of just alerting border border guys by just maybe a simple announcement on radio that wake up tomorrow, go to a given location and let you be registered if you want to work in Kampala. That failed. They only waited to be given a budget. Bet Kamia, the minister for Kampala, says that they will achieve the implementations of some of the security measures like the installation of tracking devices with the help of foreign investors. Peter Kankaka, the spokesperson for Century Border Border Association, an umbrella group for border border riders, says misunderstandings within KCCA have delayed the attempts to organize the industry. Internal conflicts. The mayor is quarreling with Jennifer. Jennifer is not appearing in the council. Now Betty Kamia is not, is not taking the calls of the mayor. How does that relate to the common man who is suffering and dying on a daily basis? When I tasked the director legal, who is charged with the duty of preparing bills for ordinances, to come up with that framework, or to come up with that instrument, he was stopped by the minister. So time and again I put it on the order paper, Every, uh, when we go to the meetings which I preside over, the bill is not there. We have sat down and uh, started a conversation on management of border borders. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that there will be a clash. KCCA is however silent on when exactly the registration will commence. However, as KCCA continues to drag its feet on organizing the border border industry, private sector initiatives are beginning to make some progress in this regard and maybe it will not be long before the whole industry follows suit. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.